Say hi to Frank. Frank. Frank, say hi to YouTube. He's too busy getting pet. Jersey Crypto here. Just going over a couple things. Uh, first off, I've always been bullish about D-Race, but something that got me even more bullish is uh, Alex Becker is a NFT advisor for him. And uh, he's been really growing in the space of NFTs. And I'm pretty sure he's a pretty good NFT investor. And that's why he's his YouTube channel is doing so well. So, if he's willing to put his face, even if it's a cartoon face, it's his face, on D-Race, then I'm all about it. Because I like what that guy's about. Again, Alex Becker. He's probably uh, the most important one that I see on their page that, you know, I could think of. Um, the other thing is, too, uh, Joe Rogan. It's so funny. He's he's trying to downplay NFTs because he already signed a hundred million dollar deal and probably doesn't understand it that much. The problem with people that make that much money, not in the space of you know crypto NFT, is they're going to be the last ones to dive in because when you have that much money. It's, it's a lot harder to uplift your finances out of what you already made stable for yourself with whatever investments he has and everything else um, and, and put it into cryptocurrency, you know, which is an unstable thing. So the, uh, the stuff he was saying and almost not allowed or not allow allowing to be said on the uh last podcast i heard of him was kind of ridiculous to be honest i mean another thing is too it's such a growing topic it's probably one of the most trendy topics of this time because it covers all bases you know there's green energy involved with cryptocurrency um, currency period, I'm sure electric vehicles and, and self-driving vehicles are going to start to run off of the technology of, you know, cryptocurrency and, and how much more involved it is in storing information. Um, there's... So much underlying news that hasn't been spiking up the market recently that <clears throat> I just feel like it's going to get built up. And it, basically it's like almost when you have, when you, when you pile up so much info in your own head and you don't let it out, that's where anxiety comes from. And... Some of the most important things that you can learn are some of the hardest things for you to let out and tell others. So I feel like that's also what's happening in, in the crypto space is some of the most important fundamentals, news, the most important money coming in is the last to be communicated. And once it is which I feel like over the next month or two, it's going to come out, that it's going to explode. I just have this feeling that's like been building up, and it all started with, honestly, the last video bringing me to an all-time low for the one NFT project that I'm getting into, you know, already into, which is D-Race. And I was at the lowest low because, you know, the anticipation. And you can only anticipate things for so long. And when it's the whole entire space waiting and waiting and waiting, it's going to be monumental what happens in the next, I think, month. 
at least starting in the next month. And it's probably going to impact everyone. <laughs> oh, man. Just brace yourselves. Whatever you can put in, and this is not financial advice, but whatever you can put in to the, the best projects that you know, for me it's Algorand, Saya Coin, XRP, Hedera Hashgraph, D-Race, that's my NFT that I'm dabbling with. You know, the thing is I didn't get into NFTs because I got into crypto so so early that, you know, it's hard when you're making money, you know, but guess what? I'm dabbling. I'm not Joe Rogan. I'm dipping it in. I don't know if that sounded right, but either way, you know what I'm saying. So, guys, be prepared. Just be patient, but be prepared, but I think it's coming very soon. I really do. This is just a overwhelming feeling that I can't ignore. So I'm just letting it out. Hopefully I gave some decent info. I don't even know. Um, just be prepared. Jersey Crypto. Like, comment, and subscribe. I like talking. I like talking to you guys. I reply to any comments that I can. Um, be, please be clear in the comments because if I don't understand what you're saying, I'm only going to give you what I can. So, just, the only thing you can do is what you could do. And, uh, yeah, I don't care if it's a dollar, ten dollars, a hundred dollars. Whatever you put in soon is, is going to go up substantially. And again, I'm no financial advisor, but I've got a good feeling. All right, guys.